watch your sport, drink your beer, go out to parties and do the usual things you do, ignoring these lying, thieving traitors that claim to represent you and do not. Not one of them. Over the last few days, we've seen the abuse of Scott Morrison. That's fine. You don't want to shake his hand? I wouldn't. To my knowledge, snakes don't have hands, but apparently that one does. So do all the other politicians. There is a problem in this country. It's huge. It's called political parties. Not the two-party political group you talked about, you know, that you vote for. That's nonsense. The Labour Party and the tree-hugging Greens that are with them. The Liberal Party and the so-called... National Party, or whatever they are, that want to be the controllers of this country. First, they've got to control themselves. We have in place a control system for them. It's called the Commonwealth Constitution Act 1900 UK and the Commonwealth Constitution 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted. Why is it proclaimed and gazetted? Because we said so. Because it's where as the people, not where as the politicians. The politicians are there to serve us. But they've lied, cheated, and set up the most corrupt system of political parties this country has ever seen or any other country has seen in the world. Now, you can see all the <coughs> suggestions at how they started the fires. Oh, what the fires are doing to you. How they're going to affect you. No. <laughs> this is how they want them to affect you. I don't care if they started the fires. From the point of view is they'll be found out and they will stand trial. Did they set the system up whereby this country burns? 100% absolutely. The wilderness laws, the greenies and their no backburning, no clearing, no removal of garbage, allowing and the so-called local government, which we said you can't have. You thieving criminals have forced people to leave veg vegetation right up to their houses. The problem is now, those people have the right to sue you. And they're not going to get much joy in the courts here because they're controlled by the political parties. But that's changing very shortly. Then all the members of the political party will stand trial. So will you councillors. All the workers, the ones that stick their hand out and get the money knowing full well, <coughs> you know, you rate co coordinators or you thieves, even down to the secretary sits in the front. You're all guilty of those houses burning, those people's deaths, and the consequences of it. Systematically since Federation, every political party has corrupted our system so much and stolen everything we own and sold it overseas. There's only one problem. You can't benefit from stealing or any other criminal offence. So everything you sold overseas doesn't belong there. All the water doesn't belong to who you sold it to. All the minerals, all the mineral leases to foreign companies doesn't belong to them. We have a gas gas here so much that they're pouring it out of the northwest shelf here into China and into Japan and we're getting not one red cent for almost 40 years because of tax concessions. Hang on. What tax concessions? Oh, you put in infrastructure. The infrastructure that you put in place is worth $10. If that, for scrap metal. We kick you out, what's it worth? Nothing. Zero. Compared to the gas that's coming out of the ground, it's not worth nothing. You are stealing our gas. We can't even buy gas. And when we can, half the servos are taking out the gas. You talk about emissions? 
gas puts out a lot more less emissions than the other fuels. So why aren't you promoting gas? No, no, no. The politicians are getting money for gas and it's going into companies owned by them or their friends or their political parties or the idealists that run them. It goes into your pockets. We don't see any. We pay in Geraldton $1.9.9 cents a litre for automotive gas. In China, they pay 10 to 15 cents a litre for our gas. How are you going to answer that, you thieving, lying politicians? I've been advised by different friends who are involved in political parties. Oh, you shouldn't call them this, you shouldn't call them that. Well, I'll tell you something. My view of every politician in this country at this time, you have the same value as a dog turd. Absolutely none. You stink. It's no good for fertiliser and you're a waste of space. You don't like the way I talk? Boo-hoo, get a box of tissues, go have a soup somewhere. Wake up to the fact we have to be governed by you if we vote you in and we didn't. According to this, our constitution.